What's up guys? Today we're gonna to talk about how to open your first LLC. I'm gonna walk you through a few things you need to know, a few things you should avoid, and a bunch of things that we all talk about when it comes to opening businesses. So without further ado, let's get into the show and save you guys some time. All right, first and foremost guys, understand that there's different types of entities that you can open. Not limited to, but there are a sole proprietorship, an LLC, an S Corp, a C Corp, and there's a bunch of nonprofits. I personally have a 501c3, but there's a lot of different entities that you can form. Within each entity, there's subcategories. However, most small businesses get started with an LLC, whether it's a sole member or or a partnership or something along those lines. So it's key to understand which entity is best for you and your business moving forward. Most small businesses start with an LLC. So let's talk about how you can start that LLC. The first person that you could go to to start the LLC is an accountant. Some accountants will do this for you. They're not gonna charge you as much as say an attorney and they're gonna make sure everything is set up correctly for tax purposes. Accountants typically are focused on tax purpose questions only, okay? Your accountant doesn't set up your mortgage broker's information, but your accountant will handle things when it comes to tax and done well. So your accountant is your first person that you could go to to open up your entity. The second person that you could go to to open up your entity would be an attorney. Now, it's not necessarily better to have an attorney or an accountant do it. An attorney is definitely gonna cost you more money to do it, but an attorney's job is to make sure everything is done legally as the accountant's job is primary focus is tax-wise. So the second person you could have, which isn't necessarily better than an accountant, is an attorney. Just know that if you have an attorney do it, you're probably gonna pay them for an hour or two, maybe three, and that could quickly add up to $1,000 depending on the level of attorney that you are using. The third person, not necessarily better or worse, but the third person that you could have open your LLC is your business coach if they offer these types of services. Some business coaches are very well versed in opening businesses and LLCs and will do it for you. Now, keep in mind, if you're working with a business coach, unless you have a uh, agreement in place, a lot of business coaches command value at or greater than attorneys. So be cognizant of the fact. So if someone, if a business coach charges $600 an hour and they quote you that it's going to take them two hours, which it's not going to take two hours. It shouldn't take anyone two hours to open an LLC. If they say it's going to take two hours, it's going to cost you $1,200. The reality of the situation is, guys, it takes 10 minutes to open an LLC, maybe 15 if you're moving slow, but people will quote you what they feel it's going to take them. So with that said, a business coach can open a LLC for you. The last way for today's show, you could do it. And what I highly recommend is if you're in your first year of business or it's your first business or you're early on in the journey, just do it yourself. Do it yourself and I, I know this sounds ridiculous, but use a website like LegalZoom or something similar. Those websites, including LegalZoom, are built to actually walk you through how to open an LLC and it doesn't cost you a lot of money. I didn't look at the actual prices before shooting this show. However, I probably should have to offer better value, but from the last time I opened an LLC, which was recently, um, it was not very much money to do it yourself. I believe it's like less than $100 to do it yourself, uh, $105 to have some filings done for you rather than you doing the filing, like with the Secretary of State, and a few hundred dollars to have everything done quickly in that moment for you, which is what I do. Or a couple, I think it was $300 or something along those lines. So it really comes down to what's best for you. You either have your accountant, your attorney, your business coach, or you do it yourself. If you feel comfortable doing it yourself, I would highly recommend that you do it yourself. If you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself, have someone who's a professional not your friends, not your family, a professional like an accountant, attorney, or business coach, do it for you. 
All right, that's what I got for you today, guys. I hope you learned something today. If you did learn something today, drop a comment below. Let's chat about it. If you have a question about anything that I said today, like the difference between a business coach and attorney and how they bill you, drop a comment below, hit subscribe, and definitely hit that like button. I'll catch you next time.